Well, the, obviously we found common ground, correct? The president wanted electric vehicles. We're thinking that's not infrastructure, but nonetheless, that's where we ended up. Uh, so we actually had infrastructure, um, electric vehicle charging stations uh, in there because the president said he wouldn't sign it without it. So uh, do you give a little bit? Absolutely. Do you get a little bit? Yeah. So the president's not getting quite as much as he wanted for EV, and we spent that money someplace else. But everything was, you know, within the realm of acceptability. Sure. Uh, your state, Louisiana, gets six billion dollars. I read. Is that for roads, bridges, tunnels? Is that for water resources? How will that break down? That is for roads, bridges, and tunnels. By the way, my state wasn't particularly favored. It's just that's the way the formula breaks out. And if you put $110 billion to roads, bridges, and highways, every state will benefit proportionate to how the formula is currently written. So there's a very equitable distribution. On the other hand, I will also say this is over the baseline. So whatever any state receives will be in addition to that which they would ordinarily receive from the Federal Highway Transportation Fund. Real opportunity for states to address uh, pent-up demand. I ask you about uh, water specifically because Louisiana has unique needs. Considering the Gulf Coast, the wetlands, the bayous, do you have enough money to handle the impact of climate change and some of the other challenges you've seen in Louisiana? This is a down payment for the whole nation. But particularly, you know, Louisiana benefits, but so does every nation, uh, every state in the nation. Uh, uh, so, and we probably have as much as we can handle over the next five years as a nation. So, but we have more to do. It is clear that as more Americans live next to a coastline and as sea levels rise, there will be greater threat. You can look at beach erosion on the Gold Coast of Chicago, on the outer banks of North Carolina, are in Louisiana, and you can see this is a nationwide issue. We attempt to address it, but Louisiana will benefit too. Uh, Senator Cassidy, what would you tell your Republican colleagues who say, too much spending, too much inflation comes from this, I can't support it? First, working backwards, um, in fact, in interjecting something else, this is not the $3.5 trillion tax and spend extravaganza that will be gasoline on the fire of inflation. This is hard infrastructure, not whatever, not the Democratic wish list, number one. Number two, economists who are right of center and economists who are left of center, such as Larry Summers, have said this will not contribute to inflation. It is backloaded. It just takes time to permit and to initiate. Um, and it is also on fixed assets, which will benefit over decades. Indeed, Wharton School of Business estimates it will decrease the deficit and increase GDP over the next several decades. Um, uh, last thing to say is that we mentioned inflation, we mentioned 3.5 trillion. What was your third point? I'm sorry. Well, does it bother you? Can I ask that it? Oh, it well, about, about, about the spending. Yes. About the spending. President Donald Trump recommended a $1.5 trillion right. infrastructure package. Republicans are all on board. We're $550 billion, one-third, and we have it paid for. Now, if, if the Republicans were on board for former President Trump, uh, we're a third the cost, and we have it paid for. It seems like something that should be acceptable. Well, does that feel disingenuous to you, then? What's that reaction about? You know, I can't. I, I learned long ago, as soon as I got married, to not, to tr not to try to guess what another person's thoughts and emotions are. So I won't judge, but I will say there's an inconsistency. Does it bother you that this appears to be tied to that $3.5 trillion reconciliation package? That I reject that. Um, the president has said that it's not tied. Now, Pelosi may say that, but I can tell you some of our rank and file are saying that it's not yeah. tied. And so uh, I, I kind of reject that characterization, and I think it will stand on its own legs. Even if Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi conduct business that way, it's not codified as being married in legislative language. Is that your point? So imagine Speaker Pelosi going into elections in a year and a half, holds an infrastructure bill hostage, which has 86 percent approval rating nationwide. 86 percent approval. She holds it hostage for political considerations to pass a tax and spend extravaganza that will ignite inflation. Her party will pay the political price. I think one thing we know of Speaker Pelosi, she's a smart politician, 
I suspect she'll reevaluate. Senator Cassidy, I have to speak to you as Dr. Cassidy quickly before we wrap this up with regard to the trends that we're seeing with COVID. There's been a lot of news this week, and some of it has been downright scary. I wonder if you support President Biden's vaccine mandate for federal workers. And as you see cases and hospitalizations rise in Louisiana, what can you do to increase the vaccination rate? First, as I gather, I've not read it, but it's not a vaccine mandate. It is just a statement that if you're not vaccinated, you must wear a mask or get tested. That's, right. that's actually public health 101. If you that's could, good policy. Yeah, that's good policy. If you could carry the virus, then you should be wearing a mask. And the point is that if you're vaccinated, then you are very unlikely to be carrying the virus. Uh, in my own state, believe me, my heart breaks. Uh, my hospitals are full once more, and elective surgeries like a lumpectomy for breast cancer are now having to be postponed because of hospitals being full. I would ask my fellow folks in Louisiana to get vaccinated. It's safe. We have a year of showing that it's effective. President Trump has been vaccinated, if that's your hesitancy. Um, and uh, barring that, uh, you know, wear your mask, be tested, avoid public gatherings. I want to be back in Tiger Stadium. I want to be back sitting next to the folks from Alexandria who we've been sitting next to for 15 years. I hope we all get vaccinated and we can return um, to see a national championship team.